There goes the Craig stuff. Nice fish. Nice. Nice fish. Oh yeah. There we go. Bam. Yeah. Nice one, Craig. All right, Craigie. Coming in that way, guys. Okay, I'm getting out of here. See? As soon as you lit up that cigar. My little brother. You notice broke. that? As soon as he lit up the Best cigar. Would have been low Berkeley ones. Bastard. Lucky ah, cigar. Ah. Lucky cigar. <laughs> oh yeah, we're gonna smoke those up. New knife, that's a shop. <laughs> I wonder why there's so much bait fish over here, nibbling on the carcasses. Okay, so today on Wicked Good Eats, we're going to do some nice smoked bluefish. And you can see we caught this nice bluefish uh, the other day off Black Island. I'm going to show you how to smoke that up. It's uh, pretty easy. You don't really need a lot to, to smoke a bluefish, but what you do need is a little bit of time. And... Um, time meaning you want to let it make a little marinade for it let it set for at least an hour two hours um, if you're gonna do it on the grill you're gonna have to get these nice um, <coughs> hickory chips and you're gonna soak them in a bowl for about at least one hour so I kinda when I marinate the bluefish I start soaking the chips they're just about ready at the same time and I can put them on the grill um, if you don't have a smoker um, and you know you don't want to mess with the blue chips I suggest uh, Wright's liquid smoke this has got a nice uh, hickory flavor to it you can add that to the marinade still do it on the grill at a very low heat um, and that um, and that seems to work well if you don't have a smoker to do the chips okay the first thing you want to do with any piece of fish especially um, fresh caught fish um, is give it a nice clean rinse with some nice cold water. Okay, we'll prep that up for a nice rinse before we go ahead and put it in the marinade. Put that back on a plate and we'll start doing up our marinade. Okay, so we got a bowl of uh, water. We'll open up our nice hickory chips bag here. And again, you can use all the mesquite, apple wood, all the wood. In this case, I'm just going to about a good uh, three handfuls of chips. And just kind of press them down in there so that they're all nice and wet. That allows them to um, absorb some of the water so they don't burn and they actually smoke in the smoker. And over here, we got a nice fish. I'm going to lay that up in this nice pan and the first thing we're going to do um, give these lemons a nice roll okay that kind of loosens up the juice inside so in this this case I'm going to be doing two whole lemons and the lemon juice really helps um, break down a lot of that oils that are in the bluefish okay and that's why we want to use a lot of lemon juice, a lot of lemon juice, because again, this is just going to marinate in it. So, um, got some, uh, about a teaspoon or so of um, onion powder, okay, and we got um, some nice medium sweet soy sauce, okay, I'm going to pour some of that over there, and again, you just want to kind of Drizzle it up on top. This is kind of a thick soy sauce. You can use regular Kiko Mons or whatever you're using. Okay. 
Liam Pepperins, Worcestershire sauce. Okay, give that a couple of shakes in there. Alright, and we got our garlic. What about, in this case, I'm going to use some crushed garlic. Let it get in there nice and nice. And last, we got some uh, fresh paste parsley leaves. Just going to put that in there. And um, black pepper. Don't really need to add any salt to this. Uh, lemon juice helps break it down. There's a lot of salt in the soy sauce already, so you don't want to make it overly salty. Um, plus, it's a salt water fish already, so there's some degree of salt in the meat. Okay, so I'm just going to put that in there. And, you know, give this a nice turn. Make sure it gets all coated. And you can put this in a bigger plastic container and kind of shake it up, but in this case I got this nice little bowl. So, mm, smells good already. And like I said, at this point, if you're not going to use the wood chips, and uh, you could add a capful of the Wright's Liquid Smoke, that will give it that hickory flavor. Um, some people like to use it, some people don't. Uh, I do it both ways, it comes out just fine. Uh, I like to smell that hickory smoked chips out there when they're on the grill. Okay, it's been about an hour, so we took out our nice um, blue fish that's been marinating. Okay, and we're going to uncover that. I'll put this down here so you can see it. Um, we're going to uncover this and get our fork, give it a nice turn. Make sure it's all coated nice, nice, top and bottom. Spread that up on there. That way it marinates nice and even. Okay. Beautiful. And we're going to check on to see our wood chips are getting nice and soaked. They're pretty much almost there. So we'll let those stay in there, drain that off. We'll be ready to put this on the grill in about an hour. Alright, so it's been about two hours that fish has been marinating, so we're going to get it going, get it all ready, and uh, put it on the grill. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is, um, we got our little smoker box here, I'm going to take that off, you see that's nice and empty, I'm going to get these oak chips, okay, that have been soaking, and put them right in there, and the flame from that will heat up the, the box cast iron box and start smoking these chips and like I said the water stops them from burning so you get a nice smoke and we'll check that about um, well, it's going to take about three hours on a very very low heat to smoke that piece of um, bluefish uh, but it's well worth it and so I'll leave these here soaking and then if I need more I can always add to it we get it going. So now it's time to get the fish ready. Okay, so we got our nice blue fish that's been all marinating. And what I like to use is one of these nice um, uh, grilling um, racks. It's got the um, holes in it that allows you, you know, put the allows you the smoke to get over the top underneath through the holes and everything. So all we're gonna do is take this nice fish. Okay, and give it one more turn, make sure it gets all nice and coated up on there. Now we want to cut this right in half, you can leave it whole if you want, I'll cut it right in half. Let's see how that, oh yeah, it's marinating nice, 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 nice. So now we have two pieces, and we'll just lay that right up there, and I got the dish underneath so it's, it drips just to take it out to the grill, okay, and again you want to put it probably skin side down, a lot of the fat's on the bottom so it'll drain off, that way it's not draining over the fish, okay, camera, and there you have it, I'm going to put that right on the grill. Okay, we got this grill going, and you can see some of that smoke starting to come up through the from the box. So what we're going to do is 
leave this burner on low okay as low as it goes okay and then we're gonna put our nice fish right in the center here so the smoke will come over and out come right by it and we're gonna close it and we'll check it in about uh, an hour and a half okay we got about 40 minutes to go and <clears throat> I'll show you what this looks like now you can see the smoke coming out of that box nice nice still plenty of wood in there smoking up nice you can see what the fish looks like not bad 40 more minutes and this should be ready okay so this bluefish has been smoking for three hours now and it's just about done so we're gonna let it sit here and rest for about oh, a good 20 minutes let it just set for a while and then we got Wolfie Pitt has been patiently waiting for the first taste see how that nice see how the smokes permeated into it okay give you a nice shot of that yeah we'll see what Wolfie thinks about smoked bluefish there you go Wolfie first taste oh yeah he's digging that like that Wolfie is that a winner uh, definitely a winner. We're gonna look in the plate. So there you have it, everybody. Beautiful smoked bluefish. Enjoy.